your brain is not a marathon track for your thoughts to be constantly running. You have to find ways to give them a break. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the channel where we are all about shattering the mental health stigma. If you haven't already, please make sure you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button. Give the bell a few kisses so you're not missing any of this content designed to help you with your mental health or help you help someone else. Today, I am going to be reacting to Don't Laugh at Me by Home Free because this gal needs some of that Tim energy again. So if you haven't had a chance to check out my other uh, Home Free reactions, I will link them below. If you haven't had a chance to make check out my patreon please make sure to do so link this in the description every single dime goes toward my mental health outreach today like i said home free don't laugh at me i'm a little boy with glasses the one they call a geek a little girl who never smiles I've got braces on my teeth And I know how it feels To cry myself to sleep I'm that kid on every playground Who's always chosen last A single teenage mother Trying to overcome my past You don't have to be my friend Is it too much? Don't laugh at me, don't call me names, don't get your pleasure from my pain. In God's eyes, we're all the same. Someday we'll all have perfect wings. Don't laugh at me. So this is featuring Mark Wills. Okay. Um <laughs> That, oh my god. You know, I was severely bullied from fourth to sixth grade, and it turned into verbal bullying in junior high and high school, and that left me with so freaking many tapes in my head about my worthiness, and I feel like I've spent a good chunk of my adult life undoing those tapes and rewriting those tapes to remind myself and show myself that I am worthy because just because somebody looks different or they made different life decisions, life choices than we did, doesn't make them less lovable or less worthy. We're all lovable and worthy even if we lose our way or even if we're different. I'm the triple on the corner You pass me on the street And I wouldn't be out here begging If I had enough to eat And don't think I don't notice That I rise never be I lost my wife and little boy Someone crossed any yellow line The day we laid him in the ground is the day I lost my mind And right now I'm down to hold This little cardboard sign So don't laugh at me Don't call me names Don't get your pleasure from my face Oh my God! In God's eyes We're all the same Someday Before it goes into that part, first and foremost, you get it. You you show your moves. I love that they found each other because I feel like sometimes those of us who are cast aside for whatever reason, I know I dealt with that. We we band together, you know, and that's kind of what this community is about is banding together. But the first part reminded me of Scotty. For those of you that don't know the story here, Scotty was a friend of mine who was homeless when we first met. He was on the side of the road and he reminded me of my dad, so I took him out to eat and he broke into tears because, in his words, I was the first person that had treated him like a human in years. And 
had I drove past, had I just said, eh, he's probably on drugs, he's probably this or that, if I would have made those assumptions, if I would have laughed at him, if I would have ignored him, I would have missed an amazing friendship that lasted over a decade. And we were there for each other. He just passed away in May, but we are there for each other and we're supportive. Um, but we don't know what led people to where they are. And that second part hit me pretty hard because I lost a child and I saw myself spiral pretty hard. I could see myself getting to that point. I could see where those breadcrumbs could have led. Um, but the best thing that we can do for our mental health and for others' mental health is to love unconditionally, not to look at somebody and make assumptions about them because we don't know their life, their story, what led them there. We have to see ourselves and others like I saw my dad in Scotty or like I see myself in, in, in these lyrics in a way, or I see myself in these kids that, that got bullied. Um, we have to see ourselves in others even if we don't agree with the person, even if we don't support the person's life decisions, just seeing our mutual humanity, we need to love people unconditionally. I'm thin, I'm short, I'm tall, I'm down, I'm blind. Hey, aren't we all? Don't laugh at me. I'm Nick Simon. October is anti-bullying month and it's a cause that is very near and dear to our hearts. That's why we have partnered with Mark Wills and 21 Pineapples to help raise money and awareness to go fight bullying. Please check out homefreemusic.com, Mark markwills.com, and 21pineapples.com. I just want to say I'm spreading my love in one funky shirt at a time. <laughs> I'll get your funky shirt now. Yeah. Awesome. And that's your man. <laughs> get your funky shirt. I will link all that stuff below. I'll also link to some other uh, bullying resources. I did an interview with Kanan um, a while ago about bullying, but oh, that made me so happy because that is something I always promote. Um, and something I always do is when I get comments that are from people who are hateful or aggressive or are attacking me and saying, you should have jumped, you should have you should have committed suicide, you should have done this or that. Um, when I get messages like that or comments like that, I realize that these people are hurting and clearly there's something wrong in them. And when we meet those people with kindness, can we always change them like this? No, but you have a better chance of, of changing the world through kindness like this than you do number one, allowing yourself to be walked on. He should have allowed himself to, to be walked on, but he chose to do the loving and kind thing. And it made a difference. It can make a difference. I've seen it happen so many times in my comments when people will attack me and I just meet them with kindness and love and say, hey, I can see that you're really upset and you're frustrated and I, I'm sorry that that you're feeling that way, that uh, something must have happened to you to to have you attacking random strangers on the internet. And there were many times when those people end up saying, yeah, I, I had this tragedy or that tragedy, and we end up getting them help. So just meeting people where they're at, seeing people for what they are, not letting them walk on you, but seeing the humanity in them as well, seeing that these people are struggling as well. And this song uses the symbology of God's eyes, but we don't have to believe in God to understand that we all came from the same energy and someday whether in an afterlife or whether here on earth because as a species we finally wise the frick up someday we'll realize that our physical features and our arbitrary status and whatever talents we have or our relationship status or whatever the case will be none of that will matter because we are all worthy despite that we are worthy just by being here we don't have to accomplish anything we don't have to be something special we don't have to lurk a certain way girls you don't have to have the big gaga eyelashes guys you don't have to look like 
like Chris Hemsworth. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to sound like Tim. It's nice, but I'm just, seriously though, it's it's not necessary because you will find somebody just like these two did. You will find somebody that loves you and accepts you for you. But we never know what another person's going through. Like I said, behind their silence, behind their smile, or behind their nasty words. And if we want the world to be kind to us and show us empathy, we have to do the same. This was an amazing uh, collaboration. I really, I really loved it. I, I love their acapella sound. I, I'm digging Mark Wills. That sounds really familiar. I think I've heard of him before. Uh, so I'm not sure where, but I think I've heard of his of his name before. But he sounds country. So I mean, I'm from steak and potato country. At some point, if he's an old, if he's been around for a while, I've probably heard of him. But Thank you guys for recommending this. I think it was an amazing opportunity to speak about this. We don't talk a whole lot about bullying as a whole. I know we talk about uh, how we can be treated for our mental health challenges, but what I've come to realize is it doesn't matter if it's because of your mental health challenges or your physical attributes or the clothes you wear, bullies will find a reason to pick on you and to tear you down if you let them. And when you can, when, when you can flip the game and you can either make fun of yourself, which I do sometimes, I'm just, you can't get to me. If I'm saying, yep, this is me, I'm wearing my kitty headphones, I, I, I own it, you know, then they can't make fun of you. And when you meet them with love and say, hey, let's, let's be friends, let's connect here, it changes everything. This is an amazing message by an amazing band. Glad I got back to them. Glad you guys uh, recommended this. Make sure that you're sharing your stories here in the comments, good, bad, and crazy. That's how we shatter the mental health stigma is by talking about it. Share this video. There are probably a bazillion people in your circle who need to see it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Mwah.